Welcome everybody to another Creative Capers. Today is kind of artsy but science as well. So keeping uh, the idea about uh, soap uh, and the different conditions that we have, uh, I want to try today to explore a soap in a safe way and make a fun sculpture and painting. So first I want to explain why we use the ivory and not another kind of soap. I want to show you. Ivory has more air pockets, while other soap, they will sink. So that means that we need ivory to microwave and make it foam. So for that thing, we will dry it a little bit now because I prove it. And we put it in the microwave. Make sure that you have a dish of the bear. And we will make it warm for 120 or sometime can be over two minutes. It depends on your microwave. Always check that it's fun. So while we're waiting that it's forming, I want to prepare some watercolor. Uh, as you can tell, I picked different colors in there. I'm gonna create a new one, it's blue. So what you do is you put a little bit of water and then you put your drops. Wow, you have a palette of colors. For this painting, uh, children's love pipettes. So if you have them hand or for doses, these are perfect and thick, special for toddlers. If you don't, you can use a single spoon or a small containers like this that will help in to pour in our soap because it was really, it will be really foamy and it will be really tall. So we're gonna make sure that they have help for it. Also, the after you create your foam, you can make a little tower so you can put some toys in there and they can pretend this is slow. All right, let's check if our foam is getting to. So I'm gonna check quickly. Oh, it starts to explode. You see the difference? So let's leave it a little bit longer. So, And then we will paint it. Um, the beauty of this experiment is sensory. You can explain science because the microwave will help to move all those air pockets that our soap has. So we make a full cloud of soap. Go. It's like a fun sculptor. And even though you can add in more minutes and it will explode a little bit longer. Let's try that. Because today is experiment day, right? So we really want to see how much our soap can grow. Let's put one more minute. While you're waiting, maybe we can sing a song. Uh, I love the um, colors uh, over our head. So, Let's do it. I don't have the same colors, but we can do it. Red and green and yellow and blue. These are the colors over you. Red like an apple, green like a tree. Yellow like the sun and blue like the sea. Red and green and yellow and blue. These are the colors over you. And that will help our children to wait because we are so excited to see the changes that our soap is happening in the microwave. Let's see. Now, oh, I see our cloud is growing and growing. Three, four, three, two, one. It grow a little. So now what we're doing, we put it in our plate. Here, and then we can start decorating our cloth. And it's a sensory game and open-ending, so that means that it's not at a specific result. We're just exploring the colors and exploring the shapes that our big sculptor is having now. Red. Hmm. And we can put some pink.
I'm going to use the spoon so you can see that it's easy to use and they practice their skill. Also, if you feel like and it's warm, it's not too hot for them, they can break it, make it space and make it bigger. And again, you can use this as soap for taking a bath. <laughs> Make sure always that it's cool and you can keep painting all the pieces. So hopefully you enjoy this uh, open-ending sign experiment. It's really simple for young children and it's really interesting for having conversation with older children. And hopefully we will see you next time. Bye!